Good morning once again from Lisbon. Uh, today is Friday and we've had a, obviously a very settled still night because we haven't moved. Uh, today I think we're going just wandering in the main, like main town of Lisbon. We will be getting some more custard pastries and visiting a few churches. We might get on the tram, uh, the old tram that we saw yesterday. Um, I'm not sure, we all need to be back on board by 5.15 today uh, for sail away to L L L L Porto tomorrow. So hopefully it's going to be a bit cloudier today and a bit cooler, uh, but at the minute it's warm outside already, 22, and only a few clouds, so. Oh, here comes a boat. A port, portugs, oh a tugboat, very nice. So the old tram was fantastic and I'm glad we got on where we got on um, and just rode to the terminus as opposed to going to the terminus and getting on because actually the queue was massive, wasn't it Matt? Yes, absolutely so Matt was like, oh come on, we're only riding it for the experience so we'll just get on here and we did and it was absolutely the right decision. We had a seat and about half an hour of riding, so that's good. We're now about to go into this church of Dominicas. Something. Rossio Square. Matt has just spotted a building that he likes to look up. This one, so we're going to head to see what it is. We think it might be a train station, but we're not sure. We're going to head over and see what the crack is. Uh, so the station was a station, but it wasn't anything special. So we're back in Rosso Square. And we're heading now, just behind us, to that top elevator. It's included in our Lisboa Pass, and it's one of the things that it says go and do, so we're going to go and do it. That church we've just been in, though, the Dominigas, apparently it was destroyed in a fire, but it looked incredible because it's, I don't know, it, it was weird, wasn't it, Matt, that church? Yeah, it was. It, it looked almost like it, it had melted. Yeah, yeah, derelict, but actually it was really busy with lots of people praying. And it was nice. Here's the tower, and here's the queue. Yeah, we're still in the queue, but we've committed now, so we're going to go with it. But this shop. And here we are at the top of the Santa Justa La Valle. Cracking views. There's the monument we were up yesterday. The Arc de. It's not the Arc de Triomphe, but the Arc de Augustus. Just there in the distance to the left of the crane. There's the cathedral that we were up yesterday, again just next to the crane. Um, and where's our cruise ship? Can't see it.
Yeah. These are the traditional codfish cakes. This man is making them. He is looking after it more than a baby. He's absolutely nurturing it and every single bit of it. He's, he's making them into these canals. This is the Carmel Convent. Um, it's clearly in a bit of disrepair. <laughs> It's mad to think like what happened here, the nuns live in and all that. So this costs four euros with our Lisboa card or five without. Posed 4,000 photos? I think not. <laughs> this is the tomb of King Fernando from the 1400s. We're in the museum part now. Apparently this is an area to visit. It's just graffiti. Don't get me wrong, if you like graffiti. Then it's probably brilliant. Here we are hiking up. It feels like a mountain. Um, we're looking for... In fact, is that what we're looking for, Matt? That massive church there? Yeah, we're look we think we're looking for that. And then we're going to the Pantheon. Ship. It's about one o'clock now, maybe one twenty, one ten. So we just continue our hike. Wow, look at the size of this. So no wonder we can see this clearly from our ship. It is humongous. So this is called the Igreja San Vincente de Fora. Thanks, Matt. He knows I'm good at accents. You know I am. You know You know it, and I always go Welsh, and I don't know for why. We're going in. Ah! very far in the church. But next door there's a convent it says. So we're gonna have a little look at that. There's the church. There's some fountains, some trees in the courtyard. Apologies for keep jolted, I've hurt my back. So I, I keep spasming. I have got a gimbal that I brought but I left it on the ship every day.
cloisters. It's about a third lot of cloisters since we got here. This is inside the Pantheon area, which is like lots of tombs. Oh, look at that lady. There. Wow. This place is amazing. For five euros, you get loads. Oh, man, come here. Is that the other Pantheon? Just up there. Honestly, this tour has been phenomenal. <laughs> Probably one of the best I've ever done. I haven't even recorded half of it because I just kept giving. And we've now got this rooftop tour, so we've climbed all the way from down there. But there's our ship. There's the Christ Redeemer upon the hill. There's the cloister down there. I've lost map. Oh. It is absolutely phenomenal up here. There's a region a Seven Seas cruise ship. About five grand a night. Why not? Oh. It's amazing. It really is panoramic views, isn't it? Honestly, I could not be more impressed with this place. Oh, so I think the next place we're going is here, the Pantheon. So let's try and work out the route. Oh, wow. So we're heading to that one next. That doesn't look far, to be honest. Just back to the ship. Oh, and then probably a jacuzzi and swimming pool because we won't go in since 8 o'clock this morning. So that was genuinely an incredible thing to do. And if you're in Lisbon, we highly recommend you come and do that. Um, in fact, probably one of the best things we've done on this holiday. Matt, agreed? Yeah, it was just really interesting and expected. Yeah. And then, so as I said, we're heading to Pantheon. And then back to the ship. It's half past two now. We've walked for what feels like miles, but we're having a lovely day. Tell you what though, we haven't had any um, custom carts today, Matt. We haven't. We have had a giant um, Kinder Bueno croissant though, which was a little bit over but... And the cooked. And, yeah, to be fair, the croissant wasn't fully cooked in the middle. Um, and we're in the Beach House restaurant tonight. So that's exciting. We liked it there last time. Oh, there's the Pantheon. Let's get in there. In Lisbon, there's tuk-tuks everywhere. You really wouldn't have to walk if you didn't want to. So I know it is the Pantheon, but inside it's very, very similar to the Pantheon in Rome. 
looks very symmetrical, which is incredibly aesthetically pleasing. I keep wanting to sing and Matt keeps really telling me off. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> he can't help himself. Not gonna lie to be fair. Here we are in the upper choir area of the church. It's immaculate in here. It is beautiful. Just to paint the picture as to how hot it is and how far we've climbed, I can feel sweat trickling down my back into my pants. Just so you know that. We've absolutely earned another three course tonight. Yep. We've earned a three course meal tonight. We do deserve it after today and just today. Oh, good luck. I just climbed under the steps. So that is the top of the church where we just were. And now we're up here. A better view actually on this side. It's a little bit more across. Then we're now inside the gallery at the top, and it's really scary. Matt's not afraid of heights, and even he's a bit scared. I'm scared of heights though. Oh gosh. Um, you can go two ways to get to the exit. I'm going the shortest. Lisbon. So we were just saying, we think it's perfectly nice and we would definitely come back on a cruise again. Whether we would book it to come for like a full city break, we don't think we would. Um, but we would definitely do it again on a cruise. We could actually do this same itinerary to be fair again. We're now just heading back to the ship. And then, as I said earlier, beach house tonight. There's then um, some acrobatic acrobatics on in the theatre. So we'll go to that. And then tomorrow, what? Oh. We had a lovely chilled afternoon. Um, went swimming, went to the spa, did some reading, and now we've just showered and we're gonna go to the beach house for our dinner. And then we're going to watch the acrobatics, as I said earlier. And then there's a singer on. Here we are in the beach house, and this is the menu. Obviously, pause it if you want. So it's a cover charge of about £7. And then if there's no price next to the food, that's included. Or you pay the extra little bit if there's an extra price next to it. There's the Pantheon, and then the convent route up to there, and then there's the square and the um, Arc of the Augusta that we climbed. I tell you what, we spent a lot of these last two days going up oh, buildings and yeah. monuments, <laughs> haven't we? So this is the pork popped crackling with different mixes and this is the beef brisket with a poached egg. Looks delicious. So there's the monastery we went to yesterday with those amazing cloisters. There's Bellum Tower. There's the rib beef combo. Looks incredible. And look at this burger. It's actually the biggest burger I've ever seen in my life. Ever. That's one portion of chocolate fudge cake apparently. And then this is my special cheesecake 